case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the groundbreaking 1989 case Thornburg v. Abbott, the Supreme Court of the United States tackled the contentious issue of prison censorship. The case centered on the ability of prisons to reject mail if it was deemed potentially harmful to institutional security. This decision held implications for the First Amendment rights of both prisoners and publishers, as it potentially curtailed the freedom for dialogue and expression. At the root of the issue were regulations permitting prison officials to discard materials that could cause a security risk. Challenged by inmates and publishers alike, these rules stipulated that any media could be rejected, not based on content, but rather on the perceived potential threat to security it may pose. This focus on censorship sparked a major clash between the need for robust security measures in a prison setting and the preservation of First Amendment rights. Previously, the district court upheld the regulations, citing the precedent set in Martinez. Still, the Supreme Court ultimately overturned this verdict. Applying what became known as the Turner Reasonableness Standard, the court deemed it necessary to establish robust parameters around prison regulations impacting First Amendment rights. A regulation in their ruling simply had to be generally necessary to a legitimate government interest. The Supreme Court's decision sent the case back for further review under this lens of reasonableness. Challenging the prior court's reliance on Martinez, the decision posited that if prison authorities could prove their rejection of a less restrictive option was rooted in sound fears of increased harm, then their selection was not an exaggerated response. Under these criteria, the prison mail regulations at the heart of Thornburg v. Abbott's controversy were seen as entirely valid. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.